Tonight, I come to you with a video about how Paris's coat evolved from birth into six months old. This is Paris's mom, and you can see she's Bougie's mom too. She's, uh, and there's the dad. Dad's very, very curly. Paris's mom is very, very curly. And Paris's dad's a poodle. Her mom's a golden doodle. And I gotta say, Paris is so curly, and her hair is so soft like a human. Uh, she's curlier than even Bougie. There's the parents again, out in the backyard of their home. Uh, the mom belonged to the people we bought Paris and Bougie from, but the dad was the next door neighbors, their friend's dog. And he's a great big poodle, and I believe Paris is gonna be that big, and I love that because I like big golden doodles. Now this is Paris's litter. I, uh, that's her in the white collar. It's in the middle. She's in the middle of the two light colored doodles. Probably one of those is bougie. I'm not sure. But Paris has got the white collar on up there at the top in the middle. Here she is walking around out in her yard before we uh, bought her at her breeder home. And you can see her ears are kind of wavy. Her body is like slick, straight hair. And it's funny because she turned out to be the most curly one. Uh, she's super curly. Bougie's curly too, but Paris has been curly. Bougie's been kind of straight. But so far here, Paris's hair is straight. And here's a picture of Paris's face. Now still, she's just now at six months old, starting to get fullness in the hair on her face. Her hair is like a poodle face. I think she has uh, more of the poodle traits, probably than the golden retriever, but or the golden doodle, but either one's great. There's baby, tiny baby Paris with her eyes barely open. There's her little white collar. That's how you can always tell it's her. She's the first one we bought when uh, we went down there to look at the puppies. And we couldn't decide whether we wanted Bougie or Paris. And I decided on Paris, but it was so hard to decide when we got home. Uh, James said he was going to call down there and see if he could buy Bougie, and he did. Now, there's Paris's posing picture for when they listed her for sale. And you can see how wavy she's starting to get. I'm not sure how old she is here, probably about six or seven weeks. Her ears are curly. Now, there she is on the way home, and she was car sick that day. And Bougie's laying on my lap beside of her, but Paris did, does not look good. And you, it, it, she takes... The worst pictures as you're going to see. I cannot get a picture of her. Um, it's hard to light up her her body because she's so black the features just blend in. But tonight I held a flashlight on her so I could try to get a good picture. See here in January, you can see her eyes and her kind of her nose. And she's two months old. And she's got the beige there, the fawn color on her chest and legs. But now that's silver. There's her and Bougie. And you can't see Paris's hair again, but it's just as wavy as Bougie's is. They're litter mates, but Paris is curlier and wavier than Bougie, even there. Um, for them to come out of the same litter and be so young to be that wavy when they were straight, when they were born. Now, there's Paris. That's a horrible picture of her. Just because you can't see her neck because she's all hair, but she's so curly. And her hair is so thick. And there's her face. Finally, I got a little bit of her face. And you can see how beautiful her eyes are. Slick face, though, on the hair. And right across her nose. Uh, that got mixed in in the wrong spot. But that's them laying in their playpen sleeping. Bougie's hair is very wavy. And if you could see Paris's, it looks the same. There's just hard, It's very hard to take a picture of Paris. See how wavy? And now there you can kind of see Paris's hair and Bougie's. That's how they looked. Hadn't been clipped yet or anything. Um, I don't really know how old they were right there. Now, this is the first groom they had at four months old. And that would have been probably back around the 1st of April. Um, there's Paris there. And she looks like she's light colored on her back, but she's not. That is, she is so black, she's shiny in spots. And there's her sissy, Bougie. And there she is that, that same day, but riding home in my car, in the back of my car. And Bougie's sitting there with her. But see, when she's laying down, she looks like she's shaped funny, and she's not. She's a beautiful, curly, gorgeous. See how curly and shiny and black? That's her and her sister there. There she is laying down on the floor trying to get cool. 
Now see, when you get a picture of one of them, you're going to get them all because they, they all photobomb each other. They all want to be in the same picture. And I muted this, but Paris is saying, I love you. I love you. Why love you? Because her and Roxy for sure can say it, and Bougie can say it, but she just doesn't say it on cue yet like the other two do. And I do have a video of her saying that, and it may be posted on my channel. Not sure. There's Bougie and Roxy buttoning in on Paris's pictures. But see, Paris is so pretty, and look how look how fluffy and curly she is. She hadn't been trimmed for a second trim yet there, and her nose looks short, but she's not. She looks just like a standard poodle. I mean, very cur she's got pretty curls and very thick, wavy legs. And she's got big feet like a big old teddy bear golden doodle. And same way with Bougie. Uh, they're equally beautiful to me. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, they are going to be some, going to have some gorgeous puppies. Roxy will never have puppies. She's spayed. And she is a golden doodle, but she's got a lot of poodle in her, and she hasn't been brushed yet right there. Some people don't like that tight curl, but I love it. I think she's beautiful. It, it's to each his own, but either way, Roxy's not going to be having any puppies. She's just going to be the sister. And I wanted to show you Paris's feet and legs, how curly. There's a way I got her outside and got some pictures of her face so you can see how she is. She's starting to get hair on her face. Now, this is her groom just the other day, her and her sister, that was Monday and today's Friday. And uh, that was them as soon as they got home with their little bandanas on, walking around with pet dad trying to go potty. So there you go. You can see how their coats change from straight and thin and maybe the color changes to that. And I think they are beautiful golden doodles. If Paris gets close enough, and I believe she does in this little video, you can see her hair. When you see the hair look two different colors on her back, it's not. It's super shiny black. And then she's got the silver around her bottom and on the insides of her back legs and on, on her front legs. And she's got a little tad of it in her eyebrows, but she's gorgeous with that. So, and her dad, they said, was black, but he lightened up over the years. And they say poodles lighten up their whole life. I never knew that. So... We'll just see what color Paris and Bougie do turn out to be in the end. Here they are, still trying to potty, running around in the yard, trying to get all dirty after they just got groomed. See, look at Paris's hair. Shiny black, and it's curly, and it's like a half inch long all over. Their tails haven't grown in yet either, so they're still thin in their tails. But that's how they look. That's how they evolved from birth to six months old, which May 17th, they'll be six months old. There's Paris a while ago. I tried to change the color, Photoshop a little so you could see her face. I put a flashlight on her so we could actually see her squinting. <laughs> I was trying to put a flashlight on her so you could see her because she's so black you can't see her. But I tried to keep it out of her eyes, and there she is. She's such a good sport. She let her mom take her picture and take her videos. See, there's the circle of the light around her eyes, and she's so beautiful, and she's so loved. All of them are so very loved, and uh, we take very good care of them. We feed them the best food. We take them to the doctor. We take them get all their vaccinations and their tests done. We're doing everything we can do to raise really healthy dogs. Thank you so much for watching our beautiful dogs. Please like share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned watch these doodles finish growing up and what they go through and having puppies